For the player, you have an option to increase and decrease the speed uh, for their movement, basically like a slide two option for it. There is a max level at which you can uh, max out in terms of speed. Um, as a, for instance, if we were to say we'll max out around 20, the increased speed is going to hit that. So you'll start, for instance, if you were to start the character with a move speed of one or two, then it would actually work its way up to a level of 24 running so like our default would be 18 so if you were to do it this way and you had the 18 then you would just simply increase a value of 2 and then decrease all the way down when you let go um, the decrease value this is going to be how quickly you decrease so if you decrease or increase at rate of 10 or 1 um, it's going to actually go pretty fast the I think actually the point value is like a point zero uh, I think it's a zero zero five on it um, we'll do a slow increase and decrease so you can see how it actually gradually goes up and then gradually goes down for it. If the option is enabled, then across the board anything that's actually animating through is going to allow it to have that uh, slide option. The movement though is the only one that's going to have an animation override on it. So for instance, um, the slow down. So if you were to move and then you let go, you're going to have a slow down option. So this can simulate ice, it can simulate a uh, character stopping. You can do a quicker slowdown to look like a two or three step stop before he finishes. Um, included with this though is that when you start doing a direction, that if you were to turn the other way and not push back, you'll just continue sliding. Now if I was to go a direction and then all of a sudden, um, once he picks up speed, turn, notice that I'm moving the other direction it's just simply uh, adding to it until it can eventually turn them back around um, same thing is that if you have no gravity on you can actually do it where it's more of a every direction is kind of pulling and pushing each other through alright so just kind of a basic idea with the uh, the sliding and again sliding can be at any point you can if you wanted to have sliding available for the player at certain points, just doing a event triggers for it and enabling it through that can give that option. But also if you want to have a, a, a ship that kind of feels like it's moving along this type of movement, you can certainly do that with it. Alright, so there you go.